Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Ava Gardner, the star we've been saluting all day, was known as one of Hollywood's steamiest screen sirens, an actress with a look and a style that made her perfect for film noir, where it was never about guys meeting girls, but about tough good lugs involved with dames. Well, Ava put her smoldering to very good use in our next film, a crime drama from 1949 called The Bribe. And get this cast. It has Robert Taylor, Ava Gardner, Charles Lawton, Vincent Price, and John Hodiak. It's the first of three films Ava made with Robert Taylor and one of the earliest movies in which Ava received equal billing to the leading man. She had, in fact, only recently become a major Hollywood player. And that was thanks to a breakthrough role she had in another film noir drama, The Killers, with Burr Lancaster, which was immediately followed by two movies headlined by George Raff and Clark Gable, which gave Ava even wider exposure. Well, this movie, The Bribe, is about a federal agent, played by Bob Taylor, sent to an island in Central America to break up a smuggling ring. Ava's the sultry vocalist in a local cantina, somebody who'd be hired even if she couldn't sing. She looks at Taylor, he looks at her, and very soon the two of them are hot and heavy. The problem is that Ava's married to one of the suspected smugglers that Bob is investigating, making things very dangerous for everybody. According to Ava Gardner's biography, things became pretty dangerous and steamy for Taylor and Ava off the set as well as on. She said that she and Robert Taylor had quite a torrid affair while they were making this movie. Ava was between marriages, post Artie Shaw and pre-Frank Sinatra, but Robert Taylor at this time was very much married to Barbara Stanwyck, no less. Interesting how fate works sometimes because not only did the situation make Stanwyck very angry, understandably, but later that same year of 19... 49, Barbara Stanwyck and Ava Gardner were co-starred in a movie called East Side, West Side, which Ava ended up murdered, and Barbara's the main suspect. It's a role that Barbara Stanwyck relished. But here's Ava Gardner in one of her earliest examples of being a femme fatale on screen, filmed from 1949, directed by Robert Z. Leonard. Here's The Bribe.